Hello everyone and welcome to Hollywood Corner, in this video we'll be showing you the characters that are most likely to die in the second season. Although there isn't much information available regarding Wednesday season 2, but hey, at least we know some of our favorite, and if we're being totally honest, our least favorite characters as well such as Rowan, Dr. Kinbot, Mayor Walker, and Principal Weems. Wednesday has been one of Netflix's best shows. It managed to amass 341.2 million viewing hours in just its first week on the platform, surpassing Strange Things Season 4 to claim the title of most hours seen in a week for an English-language Netflix series. Then, by the end of its first month on the service, Wednesday had overtaken all other English-language Netflix shows in terms of total viewers, and some of us even ended up watching it twice. A renewal for Season 2 of the fantasy series was essentially certain due to the show's enormous popularity. The second season of Wednesday was, however, not revealed by Netflix until the first few days of January 2023. There is currently no information on the release date because it is still too early in the production process. However, judging by the development and post-production timeframes for the first season, a 2024 release is the most likely date. We wouldn't bet on a late 2023 release, but it's possible that the production schedule can be reduced. Wednesday Adams. 5% death chance. Wednesday Adams who is the main character in the movie has the least chance of dying at 5% although she doesn't have a deadly superpower. She is clever and practical and can find her way out of any situation. I do. Oh, you must be the psychopath they let in. And you must be the self-appointed queen bee. The series is also named after her. And there is no doubt that without her, the series will make no sense. You're probably wondering why does Wednesday even have a 5% death chance? Can we roll that back a bit? Turns out that Wednesday almost died actually she briefly died not once but twice in the first season. But when you're blessed with an ancestor half as good as Goody Williams you got to admit that it's easy to get pretty reckless. But hey, that's part of the allure and at least she got to come back to life. Use the words little and girl to address me again and I can't guarantee you safety. Enid Sinclair, 8% death chance. Enid comes next at an 8% possibility of dying. In the first few episodes, Enid Sinclair was unable to channel her superpower or wolf out as it was called in the series, but at the end of season 1, Enid's superpower had fully manifested, and she is no longer a naive and helpless girl we used to know. Watching her fight and defeat Tyler in his hide form further proves how strong she is, but she may die to save her friend's life, considering how far she was willing to go to save Wednesday in season 1. But someone please tell Netflix, Wednesday, and Enid's relatively large fanbase would literally have their heads for breakfast if they decide to kill Enid. She even has an uncle that went to jail for that and he probably wouldn't mind teaching her, although I doubt that she would need any help with that. But let's get down to the next most likely suspect for murder, shall we? Welcome to Ophelia Hall. Not a hugger. Got it. Morticia Adams, 10% death chance. Morticia Adams have a 10% death possibility. Morticia is barely ever in the school vicinity, which is where all the action happens. Also she is a clever woman. Just like her daughter Wednesday, she knows how to find a way out of every situation. What I resent is that you could have prevented Garrett's death if you had done your job. When I lodged my complaint. Men like you. Thing, 12% death chance. The Thing has a 12% chance of death in season 2. He is very impulsive and acts without thinking. Although he almost died in season 1 we can't help but think he may die while doing Wednesday's bidding. Although if we're being honest we're pretty sure Wednesday wouldn't allow him to die like that. I mean he's her only family. Oh, right she has others. But hey, did you see the look on her face when Thing almost died? Wednesday almost broke her promise to never cry again at that moment and we're pretty sure Netflix wouldn't want our favorite protagonist to be in danger, although they might bring in some killer plot twist that we all wouldn't want. Lurch, 13% death chance. Lurch, the Adams butler and driver has a 13% chance of dying with his towering height. Hardly anyone wants to mess with him, he also is always away from the school premises so his chances of dying are quite low. But here's one secret tip about the most likely ones to be killed in TV shows. It's the quiet ones that are 
not exactly in the corner that always die first. Gomez Adams, 17% death chance. Gomez Adams has a soft spot for his wife and children, he will most likely die trying to save the family. We didn't get to see him in action so we don't know his strength. But we've gotta admit that if Gomez does, his wife is definitely coming along. I mean they can't even be away from each for 5 minutes talk less of 5 years. Sorry, I wasn't a bad father. Could we please do without the overt display of emotion? I know they make you feel Uncle Fester, 22% death chance. Uncle Fester is Wednesday's favorite uncle. He has committed a lot of crimes and has been jailed severally. As sharp as ever, my pigtailed protege. Uncle he is also wanted for escaping from prison. He came down to Nevermore to help Wednesday once, there's no doubt he'll do it all over again and probably die helping her. But if he dies, let's blame the blood of the innocent scouts that he ate for breakfast. But guess who the next likely person to die is? It's none other than your favorite or perhaps least favorite antagonist especially after we all discovered his secret identity. Tyler Galpin, 30% death chance. Tyler was thought to be contained but he broke out of his binds while being transported in the last episode of season 1. It doesn't seem like he can be killed off that easily, he might be left alive for a while for the continuity of the series. Oral said you were dead. Like a cockroach. Please, flattery will get you nowhere. Bianca Barkley, 35% death chance. Bianca was the most popular girl in school until Wednesday came around and almost took her place. She promised to go back home with her mom so she might not appear as many times as she did in the first season. Xavier Thorpe, 50% death chance. Xavier is a friend of Wednesday's. She previously suspected he was the monster but later realized he wasn't. I've been on your side since day one. I literally saved your life. I believed your theories when nobody else did. Xavier makes decisions hastily and endlessly, he is one of the few people that would most likely die trying to save Wednesday. Gabrielle, 70% death chance. She came down to Nevermore to convince Bianca to come back home, she may die and Bianca might have to take her place. We will most likely be seeing more of her in the next season. I'm sure you're all wondering what her family business is all about since not much was said about it. It would possibly be revealed in the next season. Marilyn Thornhill, 80%. At the end of the first season, Marilyn was stung by a group of bees and Wednesday also stumped on her face, but there is no absolute proof that she is dead. We'll definitely be seeing her in season 2 where she will most likely meet her death. That's all on the most likely people to die in the next season of Wednesday. Did we hit the survival chances on the dot with the hammer? Let us know in the comment section below, and don't forget to click the like button if you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, we've got more where that came from. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and smash the bell button as hard as you can for instant notifications on new videos. Bye! I can't wait to see you at the next one.